Hi everybody! Welcome back to XCOM! And to further date this episode, we're doing this around Christmas time. There's Happy, I mean, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry indeed, yes. I was just... I have no <laughs> idea where we are again, as usual. As usual. I so think let's uh, we're... Scan. I think we're still collecting something. Oh no! Japan is being propagandized. Oh, <laughs> propaganda! That Ooh. sounds. Let's covert operation them. All right. Yeah, it was. It was funny because I was up. I was just around this time when this episode is being recorded. I'm putting up the episode where we were talking about the new Star Wars, and they, we had recorded that before they uh, released the title of the new Star Wars. So mm -hmm. I put in a little text that said, "Way to date the episode, guys." <laughs> hey. That's nice. Okay, we're gonna send our... Our uh, veteran infiltrator. Yeah. Inf I'll never see him coming. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the veteran <laughs> penetrator, then. <laughs> that was kind of... Oh, you, Heavy you... damage reported after alleged alien weapon strikes. This, Downtown that's too skyscraper. Long. I don't care, too long. Yes, too long. <laughs> DLDR. <laughs> Assign new research. Yeah, All right, we got a new bazooka. A new bazooka is better than no bazooka. Sectopod autopsy. What the hell's a sector? This heavily armored unit thing. is fully mechanized, though. We're still not sure if it has an organic component within. I don't remember what this is. No, it was a really, really, really big mech dude. Ah. This guy. Oh yeah, I remember. Now I remember. Yeah, I just haven't oh, gotten like it. it. Let's say Halcyon something. Uh, I didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> we have no research anymore. Yeah, because we needed fragments for something. To no, we have absolutely no research projects available. So does this mean that we're really closing in on the end of the game? Or something. Mimic beacon. Oh, wrong place. I need to go there. Foundry. Sheep placement. <laughs> and that never stops sounding dirty to me. Okay, we need to kill another one of these guys. Yes, we need. So we need to go on a mission again. Obviously. Obviously. Oh well. That looks like a catapult. That advanced oh, repair thing. thing. Did you watch the um? Carry on. The little teaser that they uh, released for the, the new Star Wars. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. What you think of it? <laughs> it was shiny. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it didn't honestly it didn't like give away anything about the movie itself. No, really, no. It was only it was only that's cool. Good thing. Although I, it was kind of cool seeing like a black stormtrooper, <laughs> the well, guy he, in the desert. Just what? well, he might not be a stormtrooper. Maybe he's just he, borrowing the armor. I don't know, but yeah, the stormtroopers are recruited. They're not clones. Yeah, I know, but yep. still, he might be pulling off the uh, a new hope. <laughs> Ah, trick. Sure. I don't know. Yeah. Well, let's see. Lieutenant Atrey. Okay, let's go with this team. Magara. <laughs> what the hell was that? Magara. Who's that? <laughs> that joke's not gonna. Be... Oh, that's not funny. But you know what was really funny? I just watched. I watched uh, the Rob guy and the boys play Doom a little while ago. We've picked up and he got on a public Japan. server and he got we'll blasted. And, and he's German, so at one point he screamed out, hey! uh, like, you know, like in absolute anger, and he put up a picture of a shark. And I completely lost it, <laughs> because in case you didn't know, yeah, high, high, high is high in, I mean high is shark in both. Finnish, uh, Finnish and, and German, so that was kind of funny. Like, I, I didn't know about that, honestly. Any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Oh, um, again, it's an exalt mission when we start the recording session, like <laughs> every freaking time. Well, Goddamn oh, exalt. Oh, there's, there's Yusef. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Next to that whirly thing. Well, let's get up there. Who is this? Get up, up on that thing, Audrey. Forget. That's, uh, yeah, our invisible woman. Oh my god, I listened to the. Once again, I listened to the um, the '90s Fantastic Four cartoon animated series intro, and that thing has to be the worst cartoon intro ever. <laughs> it's 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 really bad. 
Uh, but surprisingly, like the Iron Man intro from the Iron Man cartoon is, is actually pretty cool. Although you can tell it's the '90s because it's because of Tony Stark's disgusting '90s heavy metal mullet <laughs> in that intro. But it's really awesome. Like it's it's this really heavy metal thing, and it's like the lyrics are just "I am Iron Man." He or can't like, climb that. Andrea Dale has some gears in her head, as you can tell from that little icon in the bottom. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's a gear head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll move like the wind. I break like the wind. Yeah. Oh, I can hear some excellent guys breaking wind as well. <laughs> I mean radio silence. <laughs> I always, sorry, I always get those mixed up. Alright. That's the danger zone. I mean the, uh, <laughs> not the anti-danger zone. Yeah, don't let the exalt guys in that zone. Zone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the zone of we have to protect. It's got a bunch of... What is this, a restaurant? It's got like little uh, parasols and over those yeah, tables. Planes, McGoon. Moving to position. That's, that's funny because, you know, Me Mega Man's normal weapon is the... Plasma cannon, but they, but they mark it off in the menus as just a P, so it's the P shooter. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, plasma cannon. It, it didn't become the Mega Buster until. Um, that's weird. It, it, it's Buster in the Mega Man universe, not Blaster. But I guess everyone has their because in the Star Wars universe, all laser guns. They're not laser guns. They're blasters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, total flight. I just recently also watched. Oh, you can't get up on this roof. Too bad. Yeah. And and then there there are phasers in the Star Trek. Mm. I recently started watched a few episodes of Star Trek when I watched the Tribble one, <laughs> where Kirk gets piled on by the dead Tribbles when he goes into the storage bay. And it's always like that's the moment I real. Oh, oh. You know, I love the original Star Trek. It's actually my favorite Star Trek. But that's the time; those episodes are the ones that where I'm reminded of. Oh, the uniforms really do look like pajamas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, okay finally, are. finally, I was wondering where these guys were hiding, sitting in a corner with their thumb up their ass. Yeah. That's a funny expression. Your thumb up your ass, but it's very accurate. You feel that? <laughs> I mean, like you're not doing anything. <laughs> not literally having a. Well, you know. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you, you know what's doing the, something. You know what's the worst? Oh, hello. Tour group guy joke I've ever heard. It was when I went to Edinburgh Castle, and they had um, they had a tour. They had, they had this clock. Which they which they show, used to show like when the next tour started, and before we left on the tour, like the guide said uh, that you had to put the uh, the time up like when the next tour begins, and he says, "I know this looks like an analog watch, but it is actually a digital watch. I will now use my digit to move it." <laughs> and there was like a collective groan from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he was cool. He he was wearing a kilt and everything, so he got away with it. <laughs> so you got the oh, who who's that jetpack guy, girl, sniper? Yes. Oh, is it the uh, the hmm. Chinese chick? The Chinese chick, <laughs> or Asian? Let's let's say Asian because that's more accurate. Because well, is she, is she Chinese actually? Uh, I think so. Okay. I should probably not be in the knees. Canadian. Can <laughs> Vietnamese Canadian. I don't know why that's funny. It's been known to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a small world after all. Just like the Disney ride. Xianling Zhang, hot dog. Yeah, that's our yeah, hot dog's our sniper. Hey, I can actually see them. All the way. Through the here. bush. Through the foliage. Foliage. As it's pronounced. <laughs> Nowhere. Yeah. I mean, it has to be somewhere. It has to be like French origin. I don't know who would have come up with foliage. I mean, what's a, what's a foley anyway? For it to be an age of it. <laughs> I mean, that's what it means. The something of something. It's an adjective. 
Whoa! Well, ah, yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's just the... I wonder what that noise was, but it was just... Uh, that's the noise we make when there are no Exalt guys anymore. You cleared the area. Uh, there are still a couple down there. I mean, this looks like it would be pretty easy peasy, Japanesey, because uh, your all your guys are in the danger zone. I mean, the hot zone, I mean. The good zone. Is there a good name for that, actually? <laughs> I can't think of it. There has to be. There has to be. Uh, capture area. Capture area. <laughs> that sounds weird. That sounds yeah, like... Looks like they didn't come up with a good, good name, name either. either. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Shit. I want to call it the danger zone, though, because it sounds like the song from Top Gun. <laughs> also, the song from Captain N. They covered it for the Mega Man episode, where they went to Mega Land, and they yes. killed all the robot masters. Hmm. Hmm, Pink Cloud. Oh, is there... Oh! The burning there. bush! <laughs> Very biblical. Yes. <laughs> that Get out of here! Yeah, that guy. <laughs> that guy was probably kicking himself when he realized, like, huh? Everybody. Oh, shit! <laughs> everybody just takes their reaction shot against him. Hello! Well, nobody has reaction shots left. Yeah, they'll just. We'll just have to kill him the old fashioned way. Aim! Take aim and shoot! I'm gonna mind fray him. Oh. Okay. What? Did it, did it not work? Yeah, it did. But it only does five damage. So I have to do it twice. Ah, okay then. Okay. <laughs> Dude, drip, dripped, dropped. Dripped his skin! Dripped his skin! Dude, dripped his skin! Ermy Gerd! Burglar! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny, they just. Just a loud thud when they hit the ground. <laughs> like a sack of potatoes. Oh my god, I think they're gonna get him. <laughs> and massive collateral damage. It wouldn't be an XCOM mission without one. Oh yeah. How are those rails still in place? Everybody's been taking a pot shot at them. Well, I guess it's only because there's only so many ladders. Well, come on up, I dare you. <laughs> I think this guy is gonna take a hike. Yes, oh, he's no, taking he's cover behind that tiny European car. Shooting at my sniper. Maybe I should um, got new bring her down. Commander. Yeah, what? what hmm. How many turns till this pink cloud vanishes? I don't remember. Yeah. We could probably have guys like. Or are the railings not Oh, covered? hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? He dropped into the wrong plane of existence, <laughs> and the universe Oops. corrected itself. Didn't realize that wasn't the floor yet. <laughs> <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> he did the Looney Tune thing. That would be funny if, like, gravity only existed relative to where you perceive it. <laughs> Get out of here! My rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a funny hope. Gravity's a bitch, ain't it? <laughs> then you die. No, that's life is a bitch, then you die. Well, but it was... I guess it works that way, too. You ran. Oh, what was the thing? I I'm sure, like, CJ said something to the effect of Gravity's a bitch, ain't it? When it was <laughs> in San Andreas. I think he said, I oh, hate gravity when he fell from ah, somewhere high. Ah, I hate gravity. <laughs> 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 Although that was a game you could still survive hitting water from a distance, from a high, from a high altitude. Or could you in GTA 5, or did you die if you hit water from really high? Um, it depended on if you fell like head first or stomach first. I think. Oh, okay. I, I never, it was I a pretty funky uh, no. thing. Uh, I, I tried jumping out of an airplane and uh, <laughs> results were mixed. <laughs> variable. <laughs> mixed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, that was the thing I hated most about like GTA 5 is that you can't like really drive absentmindedly anymore. 
because you hit something on a, at a high speed and your guy just flies through the windshield. <laughs> oh, nice. Got him. Oh, yeah. Um, but if you tried the uh, online mod, which you didn't, um, it, it was really uh, scaled back, the uh, flying through the windshield thing. Yeah, I mean, you said you th it, they scaled it back from 4 as well, like it was even more sensitive in 4. I don't remember 4 that anymore. <laughs> Nobody remembers 4. I mean, how... Uh, how how, how often worked. you flew out the window. Yeah. I'm rolling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Liar. You're clearly Liar. locked. <laughs> rock. It would be funny if they would just do, like, rolls. Cartwheel. That would be even more fun, like cartwheels. Hang in there, you'll be fine. <laughs> Hang in there. Thank you, Annette. <laughs> <laughs> Overwatch. Exalt turn. Nip. Turn to exalt. Wait, oh, why did they do boring. anything? I don't think there's any exalt. <laughs> They're right all now. dead. <laughs> Wait, just now we're just sitting with our thumbs up our asses and waiting for them to show up. <laughs> Can't do nothing. I'm gonna cheerlead our squad. Now you do the yeah. yeah. We are strong. <laughs> we we are, are strong. We are strong. <laughs> with my with my with my insultingly Asian accent. <laughs> insultingly racist Asian accent. There they be. There they are. Hello. Whoa! Where did you come from? <laughs> oh, hi. You died. <laughs> Overkill. <laughs> wow, the guy's shooting at each other. <laughs> Everybody! That guy, he was already dead when the other, when that one took the reaction shot. Reinforcements, Commander. We just need to hold out a little longer. Hmm. Last of last wave, yeah. Last wave. No wave. <coughs> wave. <coughs> Whoa! Hello. Oh, he did the bug bunny thing again. Can you? You know. Hello. Do you have the fist? Can you punch these guys? I don't think this is the fist guy. Uh -huh. Bad. Fister. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that was. Whoa. Sniped with a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, I always thought that was. No, oh, this is the flamethrower guy. Okay. Oh, damage doesn't burn. It does nine burn. damage. That's pretty all right. Um, never mind that. We're gonna move. I mean, can't move anywhere where I could hit both of them. Yeah, you're just gonna have to take turns with them. There. Don't mind me. I'm just jumping over here. <laughs> Next, jumping out of the way. Yeah, I can. Burn, baby, burn. Disco oh, Inferno. What? Didn't hit him. Yeah, yeah, he was and too far. Panicked and run away. Yeah. Well, that's natural when you're when you have to catch fire. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Lieutenant Tariq has earned a promotion. Uh, a fighting game series I recently got into was um. Well, re like recently, this year actually, I got, I actually got into the Dead or Alive series a bit, like when I got the fifth game and was actually mm. much better than its reputation preceded it. Yeah, and the jiggle physics are <coughs> awesome. <laughs> no, but it was actually like a good fighting game and I played through the story mode and after that I thought like, man, I want to try out like uh, some of the older games and I got DOA 4, yeah, this should help. which was a game that came out just as the Xbox 360 had come out, so... The graphics were a little, ugh. <laughs> but it was okay. It was it was still fun. The funny thing is, like I now I've managed to play the arcade mode as all the characters, including like the um, the unlockable, which was Helena. And now I actually unlocked the Spartan, or if, as you know him, Master Chief. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that was the one that Master Chief was a hidden character in. <laughs> I haven't played as him yet, but that was really funny. Like, because, you know, Bungie helped uh, make uh, Dead or Alive 4 for the uh, yes. Xbox 360. Wait a minute, are both of our Chinese guys na uh, named Zhang? <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence! Zhang! Yeah, I Zhang didn't notice that before. Must be related. Yeah. <laughs> oh, rare. I mean, that is a... Uh, 
there's like five Chinese surnames that are like very, very commonplace, and then, then there's like variants of them all across the country. Like, I think Lee and Chan are amongst those five most common. And also Wang. <laughs> Wang. I'm not sure how, I think they say Wang or something like that. They, they, it's only the Americans because that's how you also Hello. spell Wang. <laughs> It's probably Tao's another very common one. Li Chen Wang and Tao. <laughs> I don't remember what the fifth one is. Baboosh! I got shirt twice. Why not mind phrase? Uh isn't Yusuf a psychic guy? Yeah, but uh, he could not have been killed him Okay. They got the they got it. Like it to kill aliens over there? <laughs> Wait, I get to kill aliens over there? No, Annette. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. God damn it, Annette. You made a terrible oh, yeah. secure and exalts forces have been eliminated. That God damn it, I would have wanted to have you heard what Annette said there. <laughs> but that guy interrupted her. The guy. The guy. The guy with the army shirt. Yeah, the guy from Kenya. <laughs> damn it. I don't remember if Kenya's over there. Oh, you know where, you know what game actually has Kenya as a location? Ooh. Street Fighter 3. Like my my new favorite Street Fighter character, Elena, is from that country. Okay. She's the she's the anti Balrog. She only uses her feet. <laughs> Balrog was the boxer who only used his hands. Never, he didn't have any kick moves. <laughs> so Elena's the opposite. <laughs> she only uses her feet. Okay. And she's good at it. Exalt Intel decryption complete. Okay. Eliminating statistical improbabilities for possible exalt location. What the shit was that? I think you're about to find out like Ah, you know what? China! Exalt's in China. Attempt raid on Exalt HQ. HQ. Alright, finally we're bringing these bastards down. Confirm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One more clickety clack to do. Isn't it? Uh, well, this, isn't this ironic? We were just talking about the Chinese, and now we're going to kick their asses for harboring uh, exalt. Yeah, I think I mentioned that Spartan thing because Said reminds me of uh, oh, yeah. of the Spartans. Mind control. You know what's a really weird game that's called Spartan? in Japan, but it's called something completely different elsewhere. It's the game Kung Fu for the NES, but it's called okay. Spartan for, for some whatever reason in it. And what's really weird is because it's based on the Bruce Lee movie Game of Death, so it's... none of it makes any sense. <laughs> Spartan? Hmm. I don't see any Greeks. This chick. Oriana. Hello there. Katarina Ilyushna. Alright. Uh, are we happy with this lineup? Yeah. Let's Thanks. go. Thanks, getting a little itchy. Oh, we didn't even look at what the operation name was. Look <laughs> what the duck is telling us that. It's it over. over! It's over! Ooh, that's a funky little. Uh, well, there. probably because let's it's the Exalt uh, base. Let's see the name. Alright. Falling Breath! <laughs> it's a bit pungent. Yes. Yeah, 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 it's old, folks. See you next time.